Urethritis. What is it and what types are there? Urethritis can be divided into two types. These are specific and non-specific. Let's figure out how they differ from each other and what that means. In simple accessible terms, specific urethritis is inflammation of the urethra caused by various microorganisms. Different infections such as gonorrhea, trichomonas, chlamydia, urea plasma and mycoplasma. Non-specific urethritis caused by by the presence of conditionally pathogenic microflora. These include various uh, staphylococci, streptococci and fungi of the Candida genus, gonorrheal infection. Non-specific urethritis can also be caused by various mechanical effects, such as those occurring during different examinations like cystoscopy, catheterization of the bladder, or when a stone or sand passes through. In other words, anything that can injure the mucous membrane of the urethra. Next, what else can lead to this? This can be various congestive phenomena in the pelvic area. There can also be a narrowing of the urethra, which is caused by the presence of some long-term chronic inflammatory disease. The symptoms of specific and non-specific urethritis are practically the same. These can include sharp pains in the lower abdomen, painful urination, lower abdominal pain, burning sensations and fever. Most often patients experience a low-grade fever, which is 37-37.5 degrees Celsius. I want to draw attention to the fact that the course of urethritis, whether specific or non-specific, differs between men and women. Because due to anatomical uh, structure of the urethra, in women the urethra is shorter. Therefore, all the main complaints and primary symptoms resemble those of cystitis. These include frequent urination, painful urination and fever, as I mentioned earlier. In men, because the urethra is longer, urethritis tends to follow a more classic course. And uh, the entire clinical picture associated with it, a characteristic visual sign of a retreat for both men and women is most often. Most often there is inflammation of the urethral lips, which appear as ridges. They are inflamed, enlarged, and the mucous membrane is bright pink in color. What is acute and what is chronic urethritis? Here we distinguish these two concepts based on the duration and history of the disease. Acute urethritis as such usually develops very quickly, literally on the second or third day. And chronic urethritis develops on the second or third day. Urethritis. This, if a person has had acute urethritis and did not treat it, it progresses to the chronic stage. Thus various factors can provoke this. This includes hypothermia, Freezing. In other words, even overheating, eating too much salty food, drinking alcohol, or undergoing some kind of antibiotic therapy. And then this triggers an exacerbation of the urethritis and it progresses to a chronic form. So the main point is that it needs to be treated. If competent treatment is not provided during the acute phase, then acute urethritis will eventually become chronic. The treatment of urethritis depends on the cause that led to the disease. If we are dealing, um, as I mentioned before, with a specific type of urethritis caused by infections such as chlamydia, trichomonas, urea plasma, mycoplasma, or a virus, herpes infections, cytomegalovirus, uh, or the common candida, which causes thrush, then accordingly, your doctor should select a treatment that will target these infections, meaning it could be antibiotic therapy, antiviral therapy, immunomodulators, or general strengthening medications. If necessary, diuretic medications are also prescribed. If the urethritis was caused by some kind of mechanical injury, as we mentioned earlier, for example, after a certain examination or the passage of a stontan, as a rule, anti-inflammatory therapy is uh, prescribed, along with broad-spectrum antibiotics. In this way, both the pain syndrome is relieved and the inflammation subsides.
when uh, treating urethritis, whether it is acute or chronic, uh, specific or non-specific, it is very important to follow these conditions. If uh, the urethritis is caused by a specific infection, it is recommended that the second sexual partner also undergo treatment. In both cases, whether it is a specific or non-specific urethritis, it is actually better to abstain from sex. That's the first point. Second, it is very important not just to limit alcohol consumption, but ideally to stop drinking it altogether during the treatment period. Third, it is very important during this period not to eat irritating foods. That is, everything that belongs to the category of pickled foods, smoked foods, various spices and spicy foods. And uh, as I mentioned before, drink more water, eat more fruits and vitamins and uh, get healthy sleep. In other words, everything that can strengthen the immune system. Mm -hmm.